Hound is a new personal assistant looking to best both Siri and Google Now. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Today we're gonna to take a look at Hound. This is a smart assistant that's looking to take on both Siri and Google Now. And it can handle some pretty intense questions, like show me Asian restaurants within 10 miles, excluding Korean and Japanese, and sort them by ranking. Or how many tablespoons and teaspoons are in a cup. And it'll give you both of those results back with just asking that one question. Now this is a free app, available both on iOS and Android. When you launch it for the first time, it's gonna ask for some basic permissions, like microphone access, location access, and access to your contacts. Then we'll walk you through a short demo showing some of the features of the app and some of the questions that you can ask. Now what I was really impressed with was the speed. This can pretty much transcribe your voice in real time as you're saying it, and the results it returns are almost instant. They're displayed in Google Now style cards, whether it's for something like the weather, a location, or even the news. If you tap on the little question mark in the bottom left hand corner, it'll give you a large list of all the different things you can say to Hound. They've done a great job of compiling all these different questions you can ask. The problem is it still doesn't compete with the built-in native assistant, whether it's Siri on iPhone or Google Now on Android, because you can't change this to be the default option. You can't say, hey Hound, and have this automatically pop up. So you will always have to open your phone and find the application to use it. On iPhone, they did attempt to make it a little bit easier. If you 3D touch on the icon, it does give you options to jump right into that text search or voice search, and it is really quick. Now there are a lot of features they can do even if you have to get into the app and it's not fully integrated, whether it's calling or messaging someone, or the integrations with both Uber and Yelp to hail a ride and check information on a restaurant. One little Easter egg that I found that I thought was really cool was the ability to just say, I want to play a game. And it'll actually present you several different options that you can play using your voice, like Hangman. It'll actually pull up a word and you can guess using your voice all the different letters. It's kind of monotonous, especially if the word is larger, but either way, it's kind of a fun little thing that they've built into the system. For the most part, I got pretty good results with Hound. However, a couple times I got some mixed results. Like if I say, how many calories are in two eggs and three slices of bacon? I get nice answers right here and I can see all of that caloric information that I'm looking for. However, if I add a third item, so if I say how many calories are in two eggs, three slices of bacon, and two slices of toast, I don't get an answer. Instead, it falls back to doing a default Bing search. Hound says they're looking to reduce the number of times they actually have to perform a web search and actually give you your answer instead. In the end, Hound is a great alternative to both Google Now and Siri. However, without that system integration, it's never truly going to replace those built-in personal assistants. Let us know in the comments what you think of Hound. And if you found this video useful, please subscribe. I'll see you next time. This has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog. Thank you.